All right, well, as it prepares to bring Pharaoh's strip club owner, Peter Gerace, to trial, the government is making yet another attempt now to get his lawyer thrown off the case. Channel 2's Dave McKinley updates us on this latest twist, which follows a previous ruling by a judge that Gerace's lawyer was, quote, good to go, Dave. Well, this motion by federal prosecutors, Mary Ellis, comes just weeks after a judge denied their previous attempt to disqualify Gerace's lawyer, and this one raises different grounds than the last one. The case against Peter Gerace was originally before federal judge John Sinatra, but Sinatra recused himself after the defense said it might call two witnesses who are Sinatra's relatives. Prosecutors suggested the defense purposely did that as a means to find a judge more favorable to Gerace, and not only moved to have one of his lawyers, Eric Sainline, seen on the left wearing glasses, disqualified from representing Gerace, but then also raised the specter of charging him with obstruction of justice. This was flatly rejected in a ruling by the judge now assigned to the case, Lawrence Villardo. But just weeks after that ruling, the latest gambit by lead prosecutor Joe Trippi is to have Sainline disqualified because of potential conflicts of interest. One of them has to do with Sainline previously representing a witness who testified before the grand jury which indicted Gerace. The other has to do with the death of a witness. Initially charged with drug trafficking, sex trafficking, and bribing former DEA agent Joe Bongiovanni, Gerace was then charged into super seating indictment for allegedly having a hand in the fatal overdose of former Pharaoh's worker Crystal Quinn found dead in a home in Wellsville last summer. Prosecutors suggest Gerace would have been informed by his attorneys that Quinn was going to testify against him and if he did as now alleged engage in a conspiracy to arrange her death then this could potentially make Saneline a witness to a crime involving his client. Meanwhile, Gerace remains in custody at the Chautauqua County Jail awaiting a trial for which there is still no confirmed date. Defendants do have a right to continue to be represented by a lawyer even if there's an established conflict, but it requires them to have it all spelled out to them in the presence of their attorney before a judge before they can consent to that. But in this case, the prosecution is also asking the judge to deny Gerace that right. On your side in the studio, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News. Dave, thanks.